right, so when it comes to transformations of reciprocal trig graphs, great news. If you can sketch sine, cos, and tan graphs, you can sketch these really easily as well. Now, the uh, reciprocal graphs we're looking at are these ones. Uh, so it might be y equals a cosec b, x minus c plus d, y equals a sec b, x minus c plus d, and y equals a copt b, x minus c plus d. Now, the procedure is really simple. Step one is to sketch the corresponding sine, cos, or tan graph. So as long as you know how to do that, you'll be fine. And then step two is just to sketch the reciprocal of that graph. And that's it. That's all you've got to do. In my example here, I'm going to sketch uh, f of x equals negative sec 2x minus pi on 2 minus 1. Now, step one is to sketch uh, the reciprocal of that, which is cos. All right, so I've rewritten it here just with cos instead of sec. Uh, now, I'm also going to change just one more little bit here. Uh, it's more, it's simpler for me if instead of having it like that, I have it like that, which means that that's identical. It just means that I can see the phase shift more easily and I can find my period more easily as well. Okay, so what's happening here? There's a bunch of transformations. Uh, the negative is going to reflect it in the x-axis. Now, what else happens? Uh, the period is equal to 2 pi over b. Uh, so the period now is going to be equal to 2 pi over 2, which is pi. Now, uh, the phase shift, it's going to be moving uh, pi on 4 uh, to the right. And it's going to be moving down uh, by 1. And now with those uh, four pieces of information, I should be able to sketch this uh, function. Now, what am I going to sketch it between? Let's sketch it between 0 less than x, which is less than 2 pi. Okay, uh, let's just draw up a little Cartesian plane here. Then I just start drawing this thing up. So 1 down, so the middle of this is going to be negative 1. Uh, it's got an amplitude of 1 still, so it's going to have a max of 0 and a min of negative 2. So I'll just put that in there like that. So there's like my set of train tracks that I'm going to go across. Uh, now it's pi on 4 to the right. All right, so um, I'll just put in like a, let's make this pi on 4, which of course makes this pi on 2. Uh, and double that again, that'll give me pi. And I said I was going to go to um, 2 pi, so if I double that again, uh, I'll get 2 pi. Uh, about there. Okay, um, so that's going to be, it's a cosine function, which means that it starts at the extremes, either top or bottom. It's negative though, which means it's going to start at the bottom. So pi and 4 to the right, one down it's going to be right there okay its period is uh, pi which means that from pi on 4 to 5 pi on 4 is how long it's going to take to repeat uh, so i should expect it to be down there again right about there um, now if this period is um, pi then things are going to happen at uh, pi on 4 increments. What I mean by that is pi on 4 here, and then here pi on 2, and then here 3 pi on 2, and then here pi, and then here 5 pi on 4. And that means that it's going to be here at 0. And I can sort of sketch that in, try to get a decent looking sketch. Uh, and then what do I have? 5 pi on 4, 6 pi on 4 would be here. Um, 7 pi and 4 would be there, and 2 pi would be there. Okay, now uh, that is that function. But I didn't want that function. Um, what function do I want? I want this sec function here. Okay, so uh, we know that sec functions have asymptotes at... Um, what the roots of our function were originally. Uh, so our roots were here and here and here and here and here. 
Uh, so I'm going to put those in. Okay, uh, and there's going to be another asymptote there. And then uh, we're at the extreme there. Uh, so my sec function is going to come to there like that. It's going to come down to there like that. Down to there like that. And a little bit like that. And what we have in red is that reciprocal function right there. So as long as you can sketch a trig function, you can sketch any of these reciprocal graphs. What did I do? Well, I know my sketching isn't the best, but um, if we take a look at uh, GeoGebra, you can see that this blue is what our cosine function was, and this orange is what we were actually supposed to be sketching. You can see it's got asymptotes at pi on 2. Mine, I hope, has an asymptote at pi on 2. You can see it has an extreme here at pi on 4. Um, mine has an extreme at pi on 4. So, look, I think we've done all right. Um, again, as long as you know how to sketch a trig function, you can sketch one of these reciprocal trig functions.